Now, other than chartering a private bus, using a rideshare company, or hitching a ride with friends, there is currently no public transit option to get to Red Rocks. Incredible. And as Denver 7's Russell Haythorne shows us tonight, that could finally change. It is beloved by those who have been coming here for years and first timers alike. This is our first time, man, and it's beautiful. It's breathtaking. The views, it's a perfect day, exercise, um, of course the concerts. It's beautiful. I hadn't been this way before, busy with grad school life, so this is really phenomenal. And while Red Rocks offers amazing views and spectacular shows, what it lacks is accessibility. It would be nice to take some public transportation to the concert. Save me on gas, save me on um, traffic. I think that's a huge uh, part of just Denver's issues in general. I think that's something that really like does not allow people who don't have access to cars the ability to explore their own city and their own state. Because of that, a group called Transit to Red Rocks, which includes activists, concert promoters, and concert goers, is hoping to finally bring bus service to this world-class amphitheater. People don't have access to this amazing outdoor equity. Current mayoral candidate Ian Thomas Tafoya has been working on this issue for years and believes now's the time to make it happen. It's about multimodal goals. It's about accessibility for people who do not drive. It's about climate action and it's about public safety. The cost of public transit here to Red Rocks could be subsidized by ticket sales. Parking here is already subsidized. So think of it, this venue seats about 10,000 people. If it were 50 cents on every ticket, that would be about $5,000 per show for public transit. This place generates millions of dollars. There's definitely enough money here to subsidize public transit. We've hired private buses before and they can, yeah, they're expensive. What is still unclear is how often the bus service would operate, but Tafoya says there's plenty of round the clock demand. We know people want to be here at sunrise. We know people want to be here at sunset to take photos. We know that people are leaving here at midnight. We know that workers are leaving later at night than that even. At Red Rocks. Public transit creates equity for them. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. And Ian Tafoya, who you saw there, who is running for Denver mayor, says win or lose, he's going to continue to fight for public transit at Red Rocks. He says he has the support of the governor as well as the town of Morrison. He says he will keep us posted if there's any progress on the plan.